Good morning, dear SmartSuk students and supervisors. Uh, my name is Eva Malichova and I am a member of the organizational team of SmartSuk project. Uh, it's my pleasure to welcome you to our kickoff uh, meeting of Blended Mobility 2021. Uh, I would like to extend a special welcome to our Vice Director for International Relations in and Marketing, Professor Josef Ristve, who would like to welcome you on behalf of the University of Zhilina. Thank you, Dr. Malikova. Uh, dear and distinguished colleagues, dear friends of smartness, uh, it is my great pleasure to give this welcome address on behalf of our, our rector, Professor Dr. Josef Jandačka. As you may know, our University of Žilina consists of seven faculties and seven institutes, and these faculties together make our university with tradition. My special welcome and thank you belongs to you all as uh, the opening of the Kick off of SmartSock project uh, now in 2021. The kick off and the project by itself has very ambitious topics and challenges of today's world. The world of smart society, blended mobility, has many different challenges. I'm looking forward also for the forum, for presentations, and especially the discussion we will have today. As I went through your uh, program, I recognized many different and interesting topics, uh, which I am also interested in. Uh, the smart society, especially the whole area of smart solutions, blended mobility and the connections are very interested, not only to me. No matter how much we can do by ourselves on the national level, whether it be research, education or development, it is never enough. In a spirit of true cooperation, we at the University of Žilina are proud of nurturing all past and present must join in an action-oriented effort to attack and solve the problems of today's world. I would like to thank to my colleagues, namely to Associate Professor Peter Marton, PhD, and his team from our Faculty of Management Science and Informatics for their work. Let me wish you a very good and inspiring discussion and thank you for your attention. Dear Vice Director, thank you very much for your speech. Uh, Smart project manager Peter Martin will uh, now tell us more about the blended mobility schedule and all the important information. Peter, the floor is yours. Thank you, Eva. I am very glad that I can start today our blended mobility our second event with participation of international community of students and teachers from a, a few international universities. I would like to introduce our project in the beginning. Our main project ideas are to create and implement intensive inter interdisciplinary study program in the field of ICT-based entrepreneurship. We would like to follow transnational and intercultural context, of course. We created student teams that we will deal with economic, societal and environmental challenges defined by three very important documents. The first one is the 2030 Agenda for sustainable development, known as Sustainability Development Goals. The second document is Horizon Europe Research and Innovation Program that was defined by European Union. And third document or group of documents are smart specialization strategies of partner countries or regions. Our SmartSoc project started in September the 1st, 2019. After 36 months, it will finish in the late August 2022. The full name of our project is Education of Future ICT Experts Based on Smart Society Needs. During this project, we collaborate students and teachers from different European universities on common tasks related to recognizing needs of society 
and providing solutions by using ICT. Specifically, in the frame of entrepreneurial case, we will provide skills from project-based learning and, of course, student teamwork. You can see logos of our partners. We are 13 partners, 12 high education institutions and one non-profit organization. In the map, you can see really we are from all parts of Europe, North, South, West, Central Europe and East Europe. Participants are from nine countries, I mean project institutions, from Bulgaria, Croatia, France, Finland, Germany, Hungary, Spain, Slovakia and Romania. In the frame of our project, we have several activities. It is defined by our project proposal and Erasmus rules. The most important for you as students and supervisors are learning, teaching and training activities. Besides this, we will prepare intellectual outputs. We will organize transnational project meetings and multiplier events. Today, we start learning, teaching and training activity. This activity is covered by the blended mobility. In frame of this event activity, participants that are students and teachers, they work one semester together during the virtual mobility and on the end of semester in the frame of physical mobility. This cooperation is organized as an elective course for all participants. For example, at the University of Žilina, participants, they have it included in their curricula. All participants will receive certificate on the end and four credits. The main objective of the blended mobility is to develop entrepreneurial and business skills of participants. Majority of students are from ICT oriented study programs, computer science, telecommunications, artificial intelligence, computer engineering. I am very glad that we have really high number of participants, 50 students from 14 European universities. I said we have external participants, mainly from Germany, from Leipzig, and other cities. And today, on February the 15th, 2021, we start our virtual mobility. I said we have 50 students that participate. Additionally, we have 30 teachers as supervisors. We created 10 teams because we have 10 entrepreneurial cases. Each team consists of five students and at least two or three teachers. These teachers, they are supervisors, supervisors for three aspects of the entrepreneurial case, for technical, business and societal aspect. The main result of your teamwork will be the business plan for the startup developed based on the entrepreneurial case assignment. You can see a summary in the picture, our 10 entrepreneurial cases. You can see our colleagues from partner universities prepare very interesting topics from smart museums using of augmented reality to using of IoT, cybersecurity, 3D printing, monitoring of health fu functions, 5G networks, 
and so on. You can see faces, faces of young people that decided to participate. I would like to thank you, dear students, that you decided to create this story and that you would like to participate. I am sure your cooperation will be very important and very interesting for you and for your future life. You remember, in January, we asked you to participate in a survey. In this survey, we uncovered what we will focus on. So you can see in the first slide with the survey results, for example, your motivation to participate. Your main motivation was, for example, practicing a foreign language or uh, learning smart solutions. When we have a look to the second graph, what are your current business skills? We can see we need to focus on financial management and training and time management. So thank you for participation in this survey. Maybe you ask how to succeed in this project, how to succeed with your entrepreneurial case, how to create good business plan. My recommendation is work as a team, meet online at least once a week, keep the deadlines. If necessary, do not hesitate to ask your supervisors in case that the tasks are not clear or you didn't, didn't understood the assignment. Follow the advices of your supervisors and if necessary, contact the organizing team. Yeah, maybe you ask, what will be with our physical mobility? We know the time is very difficult. Nobody knows what will happen. So do we really meet in Valencia? This is maybe one question in your head. So let's, uh, situation develops very dynamically. And uh, what we can do as organizing team and steering committee, we will follow epidemic situation, epidemic situation in Spain, region of Valencia, and countries of project partners. We will track rules and regulations concerning traveling and stay in Valencia. And the final decision about the physical mobility will be on March the third week first. On this day, we will inform you if you can buy your tickets, plane tickets, if you can book your accommodation, or if we continue in a virtual workshop in the May. What is what to say on the end? Yeah. Of course, stay healthy. And the uh, main slogan of our project, all you need is smart. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much, Peter. Uh, now I would like to tell you more about your task for this week. Uh, maybe some of you already have seen uh, them on uh, your team's uh, channel. Uh, this week you should agree with uh, your team members on some of your weekly calls. Uh, you can have a quick call after the kickoff meeting or you can agree via chat or uh, email. It's up to you. Uh, your second task is more focused on you. Uh, so you should introduce yourself by uh, posting the photo of your uh, favorite thing. Uh, from your room and add uh, three hashtags there which uh, characterize you. And the last uh, weekly task uh, already concerns your case study. Uh, this week you should develop an idea, some product uh, or a service uh, 
for uh, for what you will prepare uh, a business plan and business model canvas in the coming weeks. Uh, so please generate as many ideas uh, as possible and choose one which is the most suitable or uh, most creative. It's uh, also up to you. So these are tasks for this week and for every uh, next week we will publish a new task uh, on uh, Sunday evening in your team's uh, channels. Uh, if you have any questions, you can contact any supervisor uh, either directly uh, or through the Microsoft Teams or you can contact me or uh, Peter. Uh, that's all I have for now uh, and I hope to see you all in uh, Valencia. So have a nice day.